Hi everyone, I am Samuel Virgili, a PhD student in the lab of Olivier Mar at the Vision Institute in Paris. In our work, we want to probe fissure selectivity of retinal ganglion cells in the context of natural scenes. From the retina, we record ganglion cells and we present them with natural images. Given a neuron then, we would like to know what feature it extracts from the image. Characterizations like this are common in sensory neurons, the probably most famous of which is the STA. In this method, ganglion cells are presented with a white noise checkerboard stimulus, and then the various checkerboard frames are averaged, weighting them by the number of spikes they evoked in the neural response. This allows to estimate the ganglion cell's receptive field, and from the polarity of the receptive field, whether the cell is on, so sensitive to light increases, or off, so sensitive to light decreases. These characterizations, however, are always done through synthetic stimuli. In our work, we want instead to probe how this selectivity generalizes in the context of natural scenes. So to assess this, we did electrophysiological recordings in the dissected retinas of mouse and axolotl, and we presented the retina with a bunch of natural images that we perturbed with a set of dim random noise patterns like shown here. Each natural image was shown over 1000 times, and each time it was perturbed with a different perturbation. Then, all the perturbations of one image were averaged together, and each was weighted by the number of spikes it evoked. The filter resulting from the average is similar to an STA, but the response with which the white perturbations were weighted depended also on the natural image. So, we called it local STA, an STA localized around the reference natural image. Measuring these local STAs for a bunch of natural images, for some cells, we found an interesting result. Let me give you an example. Let's take an on mouse ganglion cell, on in the sense that has a positive STA. From the positive STA, we expect that the cell would be selective to an increase in the light levels inside its receptive field. But what we found instead is that the cell for some images has a positive local STA, and so it does encode for a light increase, but the same cell for some other images has a negative local STA, and so encodes for a light decrease instead. We found the same result also in axolotl cells, and here I show an example of an off cell. So what is going on? Can we make sense of this and find a relationship between the natural images and their polarity and the polarity of their local STAs? To do that, we decided to use modeling. We trained two models, a simple LN and a deep convolutional neural network, and we trained them so to reproduce the neural responses to a set of 3,000 unperturbed natural images. And then, for each natural image, we calculated the gradient of these two models, and we computed it around the image to obtain a prediction of the local STAs for that image. Note that the images on which the models were trained did not have perturbations on them. If we compare the two models' results with the experimentally measured local STAs shown here, we can see that the simple LN, having only one filter, cannot predict the change in polarity in the local STAs. But the CNN instead can and is also effective in predicting the position of the local STAs inside the receptive field. To point out is that the images on which we measured the local STAs experimentally were not in the training set of the models. But even if we found a model that reproduces well our results, we have not found yet a relationship between natural image and corresponding local STAs. To do that, we use the CNN to predict for each cell local STAs for a large number of natural images, and we tried to find a small space in which to represent all the natural images and predicted local STAs for that cell. So, we took all the local STAs we generated through the model, and we did a PCA on them. We found that the first two principal components, represented here for one cell, accounted on average for around 90% of the local STA variants. So we used those two principal components to project all the image local STA pairs on a plane. 
the tail of each arrow is the projection of a natural image and the head of each arrow is the projection of the natural image plus its local STA. The direction of the arrow does tell us in which direction we should go to increase the firing rate of the cell. In this example, when the arrows are pointing right, it means that in that region of the stimulus space, the neuron is selective to a light decrease, and when the arrows are pointing left, it means that the neuron is selective to a light increase. Then, we can ask ourselves, when we project for a single cell all the 3000 images, so to tile the stimulus space, will we see all the arrows to be ordered or will they be all chaotic? Well, the answer is neither order nor chaos. For the cells that show the local STA polarity inversion that I just described, we found that the vector field had the structure shown here. Because of the clearly quadratic shape, we hypothesized that these cells are encoding contrast. To probe this, we defined a contrast model with, in which the neural response is proportional to the sum of the square difference of the pixel intensities inside the receptive field of the neuron. With this second model, we obtain the arrow fields in green. As you see, the accordance is good, and this makes us believe that those apparently mysterious cells that show a change of on-off selectivity across the stimulus space are actually robustly encoding contrast. To conclude, we showed that the ganglion cell polarity is context dependent when probed with natural scenes, that ACNN model can effectively reproduce the on-off polarity inversion, and that the polarity dependence on the reference image reveals coding of contrast. If you're interested to know more, a preprint is available on BioArchive at the link at the bottom of this slide. With this, I want to thank all the members of my team, especially the other authors of this work highlighted here in red. Thanks for your attention.